Hey, welcome back everyone. It's time for my seven month update and I'm just gonna let it roll. So one of the big things I noticed on the seven month update was um, a lot of Coraline algae. You might not be able to see it here, but um, on the back of the tank, uh, the overflows and whatnot, there's more, more of the purple stuff, which is good. The rocks are looking a lot better, a lot more colorful. And I remember watching someone else's video that, and they had mentioned, when they get coralline algae, then they know it's time to actually put SPS in their new tank. I didn't follow that rule and I killed a lot, but uh, oh well, it's not a, uh, a sure fast rule. So let's talk about my screw ups and get them out of the way first. So I've been testing, but I was testing alkalinity and that was all fine and dandy and uh, very stable. But I hadn't been testing calcium and I, I tested it recently and it was like, 320 or something so I kind of dropped the ball on that one so other things that are new I'm actually removing my marine pure plates um, I'll talk about that in a second but they're just freaking messy as all hell so I basically took a, a hacksaw cut them up put some in my filter socks and then some in a filter bag and um, so I can kind of get rid of it slowly so my other biological filtration can build up but um so it's in the bag, uh, it can break down and the, the grit will actually flow into my filter socks because it's very messy, but you know, you see all the stuff at the very bottom of the tank or the sump, um, it gets sucked into my skimmer. And sometimes when I turn my skimmer off to feed, it does not start back up. And it wasn't until I cleaned it out, I found all the grit from that stuff. So just wanted to remove that. <laughs> So I've been lowering this light fixture an inch a week, and now it, it's getting to the height which I like it at. And, uh, you can see it's kind of rocking, so I gotta, and for aesthetic purposes, you know, cut those bars down so it's not such a, a long lever. And here are my power measurements. So the very top, those orange numbers, those signify the actual frag plugs in back that are on the back wall. You get some pretty low readings, and. Um, but I, I swapped out the Coral Plus bulbs, the two of them, and went with all Blue Plus. And uh, I might get a Purple Plus in there, but the reasoning is so I can have it much more blue. And then if I want it any whiter, I can just crank the white LEDs up. Versus if I had the, the white Coral Plus bulbs, I wouldn't be able to make it any bluer. That doesn't make sense. Just send a message and I'll clarify things. So this coral in back, that's my champion coral. It's growing really well. Uh, I have no idea what it is. If you know what it is, let me know. But uh, the on the right hand side, the small little growth, that's all pretty new. That's probably within about two months time. So this one obviously is doing really well. And here's my Montipora spongeode. It is, uh, it's encrusting really well. It's starting to get a little bit of vertical growth. And uh, we just wait. Ah, this doesn't really look so good, this picture here. My lighting's just kind of screwed up on the shutter speed or whatever you want to call it. I don't know, I'm not a photographer. White balance, that's what I meant. This is a WWC Yoda coral. It's encrusting, it looks very bright. Uh, I have high hopes for it. And the other one behind it, I have no idea what it is. You'll see it in a second here. Uh, I think it's called like a purple teardrop or something like that. Uh, on the website it actually looks like a red planet. It's a tabling reddish coral, but this thing has insane polyp extension. It's starting to slightly encrust, and uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool one. So I got a deal on a, a couple frag packs. And uh, I'll show you the good looking corals. Uh, this, I think it's called like a mammoth or a sloth or something like that. The other one, I have no idea what it is. And then I have like a, it's like a millipora, a greenish one. Some of the other ones that came in the pack, or actually all the other ones in the pack, were brown or almost dead. And one had aptasia and they just were horrible. So in the future, if I buy a frag pack, I want to know what I'm getting. Be it a, what you see is what you get or like a named coral that I'm actually familiar with, not a not something mariculture. So these were the Battle Coral 2.0 F flows. So they're in two pieces. When I originally got it, I, I broke it in half purposely, put one on a rock and mounted it one place, and then the other 
frag actually put on a, a magnetic disc and put it on the back of the tank. Both were doing well, so I decided to get the one in front that was on the rock and glue it to the frag disc so it would just grow into big, a big mass. And uh, it, looks, it looks alive, it's kind of encrusting, uh, but as you can see from that one video, the par on this area of the tank is not so good. So I don't know if I'm going to keep it there or actually move it somewhere where I'll get higher par. Because eventually if this does grow out, once it actually reaches and get higher par, it'll do much better. Uh, this mass is a big uh, Montipore sponge uh, You know, I kind of glued it from a, a frag plug. It's encrusting all over the back of the tank and towards the side. And it's coloring up very nice. And this is the Cultivated Reef Commoner's Envy. It's supposed to color up really good in low light, actually and uh, it gets washed out in higher light. Uh, polyp extension, obviously, you can see is good. It's, it's growing really well. Uh, oddly enough, this area of the tank uh, towards the bottom gets like 200 par or so. We'll see how it turns out. And this meteor shower sephastra is doing really well. You can see it's encrusting all over. And I almost want to get like a couple like stubs of rock and glue it on it or near it. So it'll encrust all over and it'll kind of look like a a weird shaped coral or something you know what I mean um, if you, you I like that one that was on a uh, reef of Palooza you know I had the lady in there Never mind. and here was that SPS I got a little while ago from vivid uh, it's coloring up I believe uh, it looks like there's a little projection on the left hand side maybe something's growing off from that and this is my battle coral sakale I don't know if it's gotten really much larger, but it, it, the coloration is like pretty cool on this one. And this is the Spain bow. And trust me, this will color up. There's a little bit of yellow showing through this, uh, but uh, there's polyps. It takes a while to color up. You'll be impressed when you see it, and you'll refer back to this video and go, hey, I knew that guy. Okay, and now just some random softies here. I don't care about them so much. <laughs> Let's just talk about SPS. So that wraps it up for now. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video.